Hello everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, ipapag-aral natin ang 4 types of giving. Ano nga ba ang 4 types of giving? As a millennials, as a savory investor, and as a youth of Christ, we need to know and we need to practice this kind of giving. We have more activities na ginagawa natin sa ating buhay. Nag-work tayo, nag-sideline tayo, sobrang dami at busy-busy tayo. But sad to say, lahat ng sacrifice na meron ka ngayon at lahat ng pagpupursigi na meron ka ngayon, if you do not follow the four types of giving, lahat po yan ay walang kabuluhan. Because in every part of our life, in every part of our activities in life, we need to satisfy first the Lord. First, giving is love offering. What is the love offering? According to the Bible, in the book of 2 Corinthians 9, verse 6 to 8. Verse 6, Sandaan ninyo ito, ang nagahasik ng kakaunti ay magaani ng kakaunti. At ang nagahasik naman ng marami ay magaani ng marami. Verse 7, Ang bawat isa'y dapat magbigay ayon sa sariling pasya, maluwag sa loob at di napipilitan lamang sapagkat ang ibig ng Diyos ay kusang pagkakaloob. Verse 8, Magagawa ng Diyos ang pasaganain kayo sa lahat ng bagay, higit pa sa inyong pangailangan, upang may magamit kayo sa pagkakawang gawa. According to the book of Corinthians, love offering is came from our heart. Subukan po ito sa ating kalooban na pagbibigay. Love offering ay nangyari po ito during the uh, mass service or uh, Sunday service. Yun po yung ating mga nilalagay doon sa box or sa basket in a church. That is the love offering. Second giving is first fruit or first harvest. What is the first fruit? Meron tayong dalawang klase ng pagbibigay ng ating first fruit. So, una is yung first of our harvest. At pangalawa is the annually or yearly of our harvest. So, ano nga ba yung first fruit of our harvest? According to the book of Proverbs 3 verse 9, Honor the Lord from your wealth and from the first of your produce. So, we need to give to the Lord yung una po nating harvest. So, example po nito is a uh, bagong empleyado ako. So, my first salary in my work is my first harvest. So, so lahat po yon na salary in my first salary ay mapupunta or ibibigay or idodonate sa church. Yung second naman sa pagbibigay ng first fruit is according to the book of Nehemiah 10 verse 35. We obligate ourselves to bring the first fruit of our ground and the first fruit of all fruit of every tree year by year to the house of the Lord. So, eto naman po yung, uh, let's say for example, uh, nag-work ako, so I am regular employee na. So, my first salary on a first year, so like for example, uh, my salary of January 1 to January 15, that is the first cut off. So, January 1 to January 15, the first salary on that year ay dapat ibibigay siya sa charge. Or lahat po iyon dapat ay idodonate sa charge. That is the second types of giving. Give the first fruit to the Lord. Third types of giving. Tithes. What is tithes? According to the book of Malachi 3 verse 10, the Lord says, Bring the whole tithes into the storehouse, that they may be food in my house. Test me in this, say the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that they will not be room enough to store it. So that's the promise of the Lord for giving the tithe. How to give tithe? So tithe is the 10% of our salary. So let's say for example, uh, yung sahod natin is uh, 10,000. So the 10% of 10,000 is 1,000. So 1,000, that is not for you. <laughs> that is for the Lord. So 1,000 is idodonate po natin iyon sa charge again. So that is the third types of giving, the tithes. 
Last types of giving charity. What is charity? So according to the book of Hebrew 13 verse 16, at huwag natin kaligtaan ang paggawa ng mabuti at ang pagtulong sa iba sapagkat iyan ang haing kinalulugdan ng Diyos. So, according to the book of Hebrew, we need to give sa ating mga kapwa. So, huwag po tayong madamot sa ating kapwa. So, ibigay po natin kung ano man yung pwede natin ibigay or itulong sa kanila. Sabi nga ng Lord sa kanyang commandment, Ibigin natin ang ating kapwa or ang ating kaaway, gaya ng pagmamahal natin sa ating sarili. So, we care other, we love other. Yan ang gusto ng Panginoon sa bawat Diyos sa atin. We give love, we give hope, and we give blessing for everyone, especially to the Lord Almighty. This is Rico na nagpapaalala sa bawat isa, ang pera madaling hanapin, pero ang pagsunod sa Lord mahirap gawin. Kaya we do our best to glorify our Lord God Almighty. God bless everyone. Thank you so much for watching and for listening. If you want this video, kindly share, like, and subscribe. And don't forget to click the notification bell button for your update in every upload. Thank you so much and God bless. First, giving is love offering. What is the love offering? According to the Bible in the book of Corinthians, according to the Bible, magagawa ng Diyos na pasaganahin kayo sa lahat ng bigay. Verse 8, magagawa ng Diyos ang pasaganahin kayo sa lahat ng salary on a first year. So like for example, uh, my salary of January 1 to January 15, that is the first cut off. So, January 1 to January 15, my first salary on that year is I, the first salary on that year ay dapat ibibigay siya sa charge. Or lahat po iyon, dapat ay donate sa charge. That is the two kind, like, that is the second types of giving. Give the first fruit to the Lord. Shout out to all merchandiser of PPCI Pure Gold Tai Tai. God bless and we love you everyone.